Welcome to Whitetail Season here at AmericanHunter.org. I've been talking about this transition from the summer ranges of the bucks to the fall ranges. Well, it's finally hit us, and I'm going to get my trail cameras out today and see if I can locate back these bucks. In this episode, my mission is I've got to find an opening day pattern for October 1st for when the bow season opens and our Iowa youth season opens on the 17th of September, just this coming Saturday. I know that Andrew and Jordan are excited about that, so I've got to find a couple of bucks, uh, hopefully, that we can get after on the 17th of September. So come on along, join me. I'm going to put the cameras out, and then uh, we'll come back again next week and show you what I found on here. And along the way, I'll give you a few tips on using the, the trail cameras to uh, pattern these bucks that we're hunting. mentioned the youth season earlier and yeah, we love the youth season here in Iowa it's the first open season usually opens around the middle of September a lot of times the bucks are still pretty close to their summer patterns and that's what we're trying to find out with these trail cameras try to get a, a bead on what some of these bucks are doing right now so we can set up on them this coming weekend but if you look at the record books for the state of Iowa in fact if you look at the world record the buck that Tony loves to shot back in uh, I think it was 2003 now that was killed only about 10 miles from where I'm standing, and that was killed during the, the uh, youth season. So it's got a long tradition in this area of being a, a great time to be in the woods, and I know our kids love it, and they've had good success over the years uh, shooting decent bucks, and uh, Andrew especially has had good luck in the last couple of years, our daughter Jordan. Uh, she had some good hunts when she was a little bit younger. She's gonna get back into it again this year. So I'm real excited about getting the kids back out again. Uh, for me, it's just a lot of fun. I, I get more nervous uh, getting ready for these youth hunts than I ever do for any hunts that I go on for myself. We don't pound these kids with these 50 caliber muzzle loaders. We load them down, we put a 50, one single 50 grain pellet of powder and a 250 grain Sabo. And uh, we use the Nikon scopes with the long extended eye relief. That way we don't run any risk that the scope's gonna come back and knock one of the kids in the forehead and, and uh, make them recoil shy after that. So uh, like I said, I'm excited about it. I'm probably, every year, I'm more excited about this youth season than I am for any of the, any of the hunts that I do myself. I've got four cameras out. I'm going to put two more out tomorrow. That will cover all the spots that I want to check going into the youth season and help me get started on patterning the bucks leading into the opening day of the bow season, October 1. So my strategy here is a little bit different at this time of the season than what it would be actually during the bow season itself. Uh, going into the season like this, I want to get an inventory as quick as I can. I want to find out where those bucks are at. We talked about the fact that they're changing their ranges from their summer to their fall and Having the corn, having the bait in front of the camera really helps me to get that fast inventory. So I can move into an area, figure out what's there quick, and then move out. And I don't have to spend a whole lot of time in any one spot with my cameras trying to find back some of these bucks that we were watching during the summer and some of the deer that we watched last year that we haven't seen yet. You know, we still have got one buck on the hit list that I haven't found back yet. And I've got a camera in the perfect spot to try to catch him too. So uh, that's, that's the plan. You know, the corn serves that purpose. It helps to concentrate the deer right in front of the camera, like I said, bring them in, uh, get a quick inventory, and then move on. And during the season, uh, more likely I'll have the cameras on trails and scrapes and locations like that where you can get actual patterns of the deer. You know, you can find out actually where the deer are moving. That will tell us pretty much by the end of the third week of September, we'll know 
where these bucks are at if we've got a pattern for something going into the opening day of the bow season so uh, anyway i appreciate you joining us this week on whitetail season here at americanhunter.org when we come back again next week i'm gonna have one of two things for you or both hopefully a whole bunch of pictures of big deer off my trail cameras and maybe some hunting action from the youth season so we'll catch you back here again next week